Good evening and welcome. My name is Kian Orfano. I am an Eagle Scout and the immediate past chief of the Oshotka Lodge. It is my privilege to welcome you to today's program. As your master of ceremonies, I am honored to be with you as we gather to recognize the achievements of our 2019-2020 Class of Eagle Scouts and Summit Award recipients and recognize adult scout leaders who give generously of their time, talent, and resources to scouting. We will also present some special awards to some very special people. I would now like to introduce Karina Landgraf, the immediate past VOA Council President, who will lead us in prayer. I ask that everyone please rise for the invocation and then remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join me in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this evening of celebration. We salute our scouts and the outstanding leadership and service given by South Florida Council volunteers. We are extremely grateful to those that will be honored tonight as they have followed your example of service to others. We ask that you continue to keep our scouting family safe and healthy as we congratulate South Florida Council's finest. We ask that you grant South Florida Council's leadership and wisdom to guide us as we work to make a difference in the lives of the youth in our communities. Amen. Thank you, Karina. Now please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Scout salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Thank you. In society, many applaud actors, athletes, and entertainers as heroes. In scouting, we applaud those who lose themselves in service to others. Tonight, we have some exceptional heroes among us that we will recognize for their outstanding work. However, before our award presentations, we are privileged to have opening remarks from our council president, Mrs. Alicia Spate. Mrs. Spate is in her first year of service as South Florida council president. She is a dedicated scouter and the Florida market leader for Willis Towers Watson. She is a mother of an Eagle Scout. So please join me in welcoming our council president, Mrs. Alicia Spate. Hello. As the parent of an Eagle Scout, let me first congratulate the 2019 to 2020 Eagle class and congratulate their parents for their assistance and support of this effort. What a wonderful accomplishment. In addition, Congratulations to each of the honorees that will be recognized this evening. Last year, our programs impacted more than 30,000 young people and their families. Your efforts and those of all committed scouters will allow us to continue to fulfill the mission of the Boy Scouts of America right here in our community. With everyone's help, we can accomplish our goals again this year and continue to impact lives of more youth and families here in South Florida. So thank you and have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Mrs. Spade. We are grateful for your leadership and service as our council president. Scouting in South Florida Council continues to help develop values, leadership, and character in our youth. Quality programs, adequate financing, and growing our membership happen because of volunteer leadership. These achievements are made possible because of you and more than 2,500 dedicated volunteers. Some of the 2019 council highlights are 200 young men attend the rank of Eagle Scout. Our camps hosted more than 13,000 campers. More than 5,600 scouts attended summer camp last year. Our scouts performed 139,000 community service hours with 48,000 hours coming through Eagle Scout projects alone. In today's value of volunteer time, that's more than $3.3 million worth of service to improve our communities. Our scouts earned more than 10,398 advancements and merit badges by learning new skills and challenging themselves. And finally, we welcomed over 600 young women into our program, such as Cub Scouts and Scouts BSA. These successes are really extensions of our Cub Scout packs, Scout troops, venturing crews, and explorer posts. The combined efforts of all units enable the council to have a positive impact on young people. One of our objectives today is to specifically recognize several individuals for their contributions. Many scouters are recognized at appropriate times throughout the year, at roundtables, 
district recognition dinners, and even training sessions. But let's take a moment right now to present some special recognitions. It is indeed our honor to be here today to present a very special award to a very special lady, Velma Christian. We're gonna be presenting her her Veteran Service Section Alumni Service Commemoration for 50 years of continuous scouting service. Starting in 1970, serving as a den leader in all the different positions, a committee chairperson. And of course, she also has been a long time uh, for, person with our district committee, especially our district secretary and district treasurer. More on that at a later time. So it is indeed our honor to present to you the Alumni Award. But Bob, do you have a few more words you'd like to offer? Uh, yes, Velma has been a very special person in our family since 1990. I believe she sat on my son's Eagle Scout Award and actually both my son's Eagle Scouts Awards. And the two of us worked for many, many, many years on Friends of Scouting, as well as Food for Scouting and all of the different campaigns that the Scouting program has offered. It's been a North Star for both our families and I'm honored to say Velma's a very old and dear friend. <laughs> indeed, indeed. on behalf of the South Florida Council and all your friends and family in scouting, definitely congratulations on your 50 years of scouting, and we're looking forward to many more as well. Thank, thank you, Velma. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, both of you. Now it is time to congratulate our latest class of Eagle Scouts. This year's class will be named the Rosa Moss Eagle Class of 2019. Rosa served our council as a key member of the support staff for 46 years. She just recently retired, and she has seen many staff and volunteers come and go, standing as a continuous thread holding it together. Rosa, it is our honor to name the Eagle Scout class after you this year. So my fellow Eagle Scouts, you have been deemed worthy of Scouting's highest rank. All who know you rejoice in your achievement. Your position, as you well know, is one of honor and responsibility. You are now marked as a man, as an Eagle Scout, you will be asked to assume a solemn obligation to do your duty to God, to your country, to your fellow Scouts, and to your fellow citizens. So it is my pleasure to introduce our next presenter, Mr. Joshua Levinson, who is also an Eagle Scout. It is an honor to be a part of this portion of our program this evening. I can recall being recognized with this achievement, just as you will be tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Rosa Moss Eagle Scout Class of 2019-2020.
It is now my pleasure to recognize our Venturing Summit Award recipients. The Summit Award is the highest award in venturing. The Summit Award goes to those venturers who have matured in their personal direction, skills, and life competencies, and who have accepted the responsibility to mentor others and serve their communities in a lasting way. The 2019-2020 Summit Award recipients are Travis Larea, Crew 497, Zachary Christopher Anzalone, Crew 317, Karina Langraf, Crew 7. Congratulations to our 2019-2020 Summit Award recipients. Additionally, congratulations to Travis Larea, who became an Eagle Scout in 2017 and has earned all 138 merit badges. I would now like to introduce Mr. Bill Gilliland, who is our Council Commissioner and the parent of two Eagle Scouts. It is now my pleasure to recognize our Dr. Albert Einstein Supernova recipient. The Dr. Albert Einstein Supernova Award is the third level gold Supernova Award for Venturers. The Venturer Supernova Awards recognize superior achievement by a venturer in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The Dr. Albert Einstein Supernova Award is the only STEM award that must be approved by the National Council of the Boy Scouts of America. Congratulations to Daniela Larea, Crew 497, for receiving this award. Thank you, Mr. Levinson and Mr. Gilliland. Now I ask that Carson Engelman of Troop 599, chartered by Kids for Kids, and the current chief of the Oshot Collage to give the Eagle response. Good evening. The purpose of tonight is to honor those scouts who have proven themselves to be among the finest group that scouting has to offer. It is a privilege and honor for me to be able to speak on behalf of my Eagle Scout class. Robert Baden Powell once said, success in training a boy depends largely on the Scoutmaster's own example. Scoutmasters, your hard work and dedication has set the example for us. The result, we are now Eagle Scouts. We all hope that you continue to be an inspiration for many Scouts to come. Thank you. Parents, I know all of you are very proud of your child's accomplishments, and without you, we would not be here tonight. We are grateful for transportation to weekly meetings, campouts, and most of all, we thank you for helping us become the Eagle Scouts we are today. We also want to thank the district volunteers, council executive board and staff for making scouting available in our community. Finally, to the recipients here tonight, each of you has accomplished something special. Gerald Ford, the 38th president of the United States of America is an Eagle Scout. Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk the moon is an Eagle Scout. James Lovell, the commander on the famous Apollo 13 mission is an Eagle Scout. Finally, Bill Marriott, Junior Executive Chairman of the Marriott Corporation, is an Eagle Scout. All these individuals accomplished something they said would not have been possible if they were not an Eagle Scout. In closing, I encourage each of you to dream big dreams. Some may say it is impossible or unattainable, but accomplish it anyway. Focus on it and work until it is a reality. Anything worthwhile always takes great effort. It is now time for us to take flight and soar. Congratulations, fellow Eagles. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Mark Antonelli. Mr. Antonelli is an Eagle Scout, a NISA Outstanding Eagle Scout Award recipient, attorney, past council president, and a vice president of South Florida Council's executive board. Mr. Antonelli. Thank you, Keanu. Tonight, we will recognize the recipients of the National Eagle Scout Association Outstanding Eagle Scout Award. This is a Distinguished Service Award of the Boy Scouts of America and awarded to an Eagle Scout by the National Eagle Scout Association for distinguished service 
to his profession and community upon the recommendation of his local BSA Council, NISA Committee, and the Council President. South Florida Council is proud to recognize the NISA Outstanding Eagle recipients. Mr. Ron Bell, Mr. John Griffith, Mr. Jim Hamill. We have a video of John Griffith accepting the award and Mr. Ron Bell and Mr. Jim Hamill chose to receive their award at a later date. Congratulations. It is indeed our pleasure today to present the National Eagle Scout Association Outstanding Eagle Scout Award to John Griffith. So John became an Eagle in 1963 and he's been a great active scouter for a great number of years. He actually received the Silver Beaver Award from the South Florida Council in 1996. He's also been the Lighthouse District Chair in the past as well. So would you like to add some additional things that John has done? Absolutely. John, we want to thank you for all of these years of service, but we'd like to include some specific things. Uh, Scoutmaster Campery, you were the chief back, I think, in 05, and then you have served every single year since since and before that time, and as well, you currently do serve as our Camperie Arena Show staff uh, director, and you've done a phenomenal job with that. And also, all the years that you've served in the Saul Lehman Memorial uh, Merit Badge College, you were the dean in 2000, 2001, you've served up until this date, and, and we've had so many successful Merit Badge Colleges, and we set the gold standard for the nation with what you've helped us create. In addition to that, you served as a council uh, chairperson for advancement for five years. So on behalf of South Florida Council, on behalf of our staff and our entire council board, we do want to congratulate you today and celebrate you with the National Outstanding Eagle Scout Award for your lifetime of service to us. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Congratulations. And now we'd like to introduce to you our Vice President of the Program, Connie Ryan, who will now introduce our Silver Beaver Awardee. Time is precious, yet almost every adult citizen of the United States gives some time in volunteer service. No other country in the world depends so heavily upon volunteer efforts, and in no other country have the citizens accepted so universally the idea that volunteer service is required for good citizenship. Scouting thrives because of you, the volunteer leaders, and we could not exist without you. You are making a difference in the lives of young people. Scouting volunteers all share a common cause, and it shows in our relationship with others. We know why we are here, we are enthusiastic about what we're doing, and we know that one of the best ways to have a hand in shaping the future is to help shape the young people who will ultimately own it and run it. The National Council of the Boy Scouts of America recognizes individual endeavor on behalf of the youth of America by awards for distinguished service to young people. These are not awards that an individual seeks, but rather they are awards that seek the individual. Nationally, the award is the Silver Buffalo. The buffalo, a symbol of strength, provided food, shelter, fire, and clothing for the native people and pioneers. So too, individuals on the national level provide a scout movement with leadership, strength, and uniform program and planning. Regionally, the award is the Silver Antelope. Fleet of foot, he is found on the Western Plains. He is a symbol of the passage and the tie between East and West. Likewise, the region is the tie between the National Council and the Local Council and helps to speed up the program to youth. On the Council level, the award is the Silver Beaver, the builder, the person working with and for the unit, the person working with and for our young people. An architect plans the skyscraper from the top down, but builds from the bottom up. In the like manner, the scouting giant would topple if it were not for the people who work for the foundation, the unit, and the youth. We do not leave the impression that the Silver Beaver is merely an award for past accomplishments. That would seem to indicate that the job is done. We all know there's always more to do. The Silver Beaver is not given only as a reward, but as a stamp of approval of work well done. It's given in recognition and in anticipation of distinguished service to youth. The silver beaver is a sterling piece of metal forged in the shape of a beaver. It is suspended from a blue and white ribbon and worn with distinction by good scouting leaders across America. This award recognizes distinguished service to the youth through noteworthy and exceptional character. Councils are restricted in the number of silver beavers they can present. 
The awards are based strictly on nominations from volunteer scouters and then reviewed by a selection committee. The South Florida Council is blessed with many quality leaders who unselfishly share of themselves to provide the scouting program for our children. The past recipients bring credit to the Silver Beaver Award and to the South Florida Council. Today's recipients add to the strength and the meaning of this award. It's indeed our honor to present the Silver Beaver Award to Daryl Bradley. Daryl has been a great volunteer helping out with Cub Scouts and Scouts. But of course, one of the things we're gonna remember most about Daryl is his ability to help units get strong again. So as a unit commissioner. Also, Daryl, thank you for all the time driving Hazel around, helping her out with the district dinner. And of course, this goes back to the Pine Island District, but of course, also the current Sawgrass District as well. So on behalf of the South Florida Council, Daryl, it is indeed our honor to present you with the Silver Beaver Award in the class of 2020. Thank you very much. It is indeed our honor to be here today to present the Silver Beaver Award to Melissa Goupe. Melissa has been quite active in PAC 220, also helps start Troop 220 and also Troop 2200, one of the girls troops here up in the, at that time, Lighthouse District. She's also been the Lighthouse District Chairman too as well. Cliff? And we would like to thank you for all of your dedicated service, specifically to Wood Badge, where you started out as a Wood Badge course participant, moved on to a staffer, and then you led us through one of the greatest Wood Badges we've had in many, many years. Thank you so much for all the time you've dedicated to Cub Scout Day Camp to enhance the lives of all of our young Cub Scouts. You have made an impact and you've made a difference in the lives of Scouts. And for that, this year we are awarding you as one of our Silver Beaver participants, or awardees rather. And Jeff's going to give you your Silver Beaver necklace. Thank you. And this is your certificate. Congratulations on behalf of South Florida Council, our executive staff, our entire board on being a Silver Beaver awardee for this year. Awesome. It's indeed our great honor to, today to present the Silver Beaver Award to Jeff Jacobs. Jeff, thank you for all your great service to the Cub Scouts, also the Scouts PSA, and of course also uh, Veteran Crew 941. Also, your great service to the Hurricane District, also now known as the Everglades District, with the Eagle Scout Boards of Review. Cliff? Jeff, it is one of our greatest honors today, and uh, Jeff Berger, our Scout Executive, is going to place upon your neck the necklace. But I as well want to congratulate you on behalf of our entire uh, Board of Directors for the Council and our Executive Board. Thank you so much for all you've done for our Wood Badgers and the Wood Badge Program for South Florida Council, as well as all the time you've given in, in servant leadership to the Order of the Arrow, to the Oshaka Lodge. We appreciate all you've done and all you will continue to do. On behalf of the council, we'd like to award you this plaque, which is your silver beaver, and congratulations. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Jeff. It indeed is our honor to present the Silver Beaver Award today to Mike Mitchko. In recognition of all your great service to Cub Scouts, to Scouts BSA, and especially venturing, he served as our advisor for the Venturing VOA here for our local council for many years. It is indeed our pleasure for the South Florida Council to present you the Silver Beaver Award. Susan, would you please go ahead and place the Silver Beaver on Mike? Perfect. And from Cliff, please present Mike his certificate. Mike, it is our pleasure to present you this certificate honoring your earning the Silver Beaver for the 2019 year. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Congratulations, Mike. On behalf of the South Florida Council, it is a great honor to present the Silver Beaver Award to Alex Milton. Alex, thank you for all of your great service to PAC and Troop 76 as both Cub Master and Scout Master. Thank you for also being the Hike Master for the Ten Commandments Hike in the Tequesta District. Also, your great service to the Mayor Badge College, and of course, multiple years of Wood Badge staff as well. So, thank you for all your great continued service, especially with the Eagle Boards. Thank you, and on, once again, on behalf of the South Florida Council, congratulations on your Silver Beaver Award. It is indeed our honor to be here today to present the Silver Beaver Award to Grace Monero. Thank you for all your great work with the Cub Scouts, Scouts BSA, and of course, venturing. Uh, you've been a great venturing in for many years, but by far, if you've ever been to NYLT, the National Youth Leadership Training, you've seen Grace Monero. So we thank you for all of your great dedication to our youth of the South Florida Council and beyond. So on behalf of the South Florida Council, we are indeed proud to present you with the Silver Beaver Award. 
And on behalf of our council, our entire board, on all of our council staff, we'd like to present you the certificate. This is in recognition of you earning your silver beaver for the 2019 class. Thank you so much for all you do for scouting, all you do for our council, but especially all you do for the youth and in the NYT program and across our broad spectrum. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Grace. Thank you. Congratulations again to all of the Silver Beaver Awards recipients. Each of you can be proud of your service to scouting, and I thank you for your role in helping to shape the lives of so many young people. It is now my pleasure to introduce our scout executive, Mr. Jeff Berger. Thank you very much for joining us this evening for our 2020 Virtual Council Recognition Dinner to honor all of our great Eagle Scouts and award recipients this particular evening. So outside of Eagle Scouts, Summit Awards and Quartermaster Awards, there really isn't a prescribed path for recognition. Our life-saving heroes, those that are making it an impact in their duty to God and our Silver Beaver honorees, chances are they probably don't feel that they uh, have done enough to actually deserve these different awards. And that's when we know that we truly have selected the right person to receive those awards. Duty to others is certainly a part of our common oath that binds us together as a scouting community and as a scouting family. Boy Scouts of America has brought people and neighborhoods together for more than a century to prepare our young people to live, work, and play with character and integrity. Scouting has been steadfast in its core principles of leadership, character, service, environmental stewardship, and achievement. Today, we celebrate this legacy and your achievements. To my fellow Eagle Scouts, being an Eagle Scout carries the weight of honor and responsibility. You have assumed a solemn obligation to do your duty to God, to country, and to your fellow Eagle Scouts. But make no mistake, you will now be viewed in a different light. During a very prominent scouting ceremony, we're reminded, he who serves his fellows is all of his fellows greatest. This quote certainly embodies that duty to others is always in the front of our mind of a true scout. Over the years, scouts have gone on to become Olympians, surgeons, civil rights leaders, Pulitzer Prize winners, Academy Award winners, astronauts, government leaders, and even presidents. While not every scout will go on to you know, be in space or in a Pulitzer, more importantly, they grow up and become husbands, fathers, mentors that shape the character of our country by leading productive and meaningful lives and living out the scout oath every day in every corner of America and the world. Our nation will never outgrow the need for thoughtful, responsible leadership, which means the values of le and lessons of scouting will never go out of style. The people that will have the most profound effect on society are the ones who get involved, people who give unselfishly through helping families, communities, and our world to become a better place. No task is too big or too small, and no person is insignificant. This upcoming fall, do your best on recruitment during this challenging time of the pandemic. Reach out to your friends, neighbors, and classmates. Let them know of Scouting's ability to connect and bond and help form lifelong friendships and relationships. I again thank you so much for all of your service and your dedication to scouting. Have a great evening.